everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so I picked up some subscriber mail over the past couple of weeks. Three parcels, I might add. And uh, I felt it was right just to put a video together and just show you everything that I've received. Now, two of these parcels, I actually already knew what was in them, I was told. Uh, the third parcel, the one that I got from Connor Gray, it's a gentleman in Australia. Uh, he sent me out this quite a sizable box it has to be said now I have no idea what's inside that and what Connor has sent to me so I'm very very intrigued to see what's going to be inside this so yes like I said I thought it was only right to put a video together and uh, just show just show how grateful and appreciative I am to receive such incredible gifts so the first one I'm going to start with is the one I received from Jason Bresch and of course his beautiful girlfriend Sophie so uh, they have sent me a letter here I have the letter right in my hand uh, it's always great when you receive these letters and uh, I'm just going to quickly read it out before I show you what they sent me. So it says, uh, thanks for always being amazing and supportive over the last year and it means the world, it really does. I uh, hope you enjoy watching these films. We are yet to watch any as Jason is too scared. And she puts a haha -ha beside it. Uh, hopefully by next Halloween we would have watched at least the first one. <laughs> me and Jason hope to visit you and Ellen in the next, uh, in the new year. Uh, that would be awesome to hang out with you guys. Sending love and hugs, Sophie and Jason. Uh, that is amazing, uh, Sophie. Thank you so much for writing this letter for me. And of course, yourself and Jason are more than welcome to come over here. And uh, I would love to hang out with both of you. Uh, I've gotten to know you over the last two years just by simply streaming. And it just would be nice to actually be physically in the same room with you. So uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that does happen. So thank you so much for that, Sophie. Now, on to the gift that they sent me. And uh, this is quite amazing. This is an addition I did want. I didn't want to spend the money that they were asking for. Uh, I didn't think it was worth it, if I'm completely honest. But it is a beautiful set. So here we go. Jason and Sophie have sent me the Paranormal Activity Collection. Now, the only reason why I don't think it was worth it, I think it's around, it's working out at around 80 euro. Now, I found that to be a little bit expensive for this set. I could see it going down quite cheap. And uh, I was actually just holding off. And then Jason told me, that he got another one of these by mistake. I actually, it was uh, an order that went wrong where they actually sent them out too. And uh, uh, he ha he thankfully sent me this, the second copy that he got. And uh, I have to tell you, is, look at that box set. It's not just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it really is a gorgeous looking set. And I do love, I love the way that kind of the handprint that you have there going across uh, all the DVDs as well, or the Blu-rays, sorry. Now I think the American version is very similar to this one, but I'm almost certain that the cases are all white instead of uh, blue, as you can see in this one. But uh, yeah, great to finally get this box set. Uh, I have watched, uh, one of the reasons to why I wanted to get this set, believe it or not, is because I've actually had most of the movies, but I never had Next of Kin. And uh, I did watch it. Look, it's not, it's not all that great. It did have a good set into the movie. But it's, uh, yeah, there wasn't, uh, they didn't, what you call, reinvent the wheel in any way, shape or form, unfortunately. But I am a fan of this franchise up to, up to a certain extent. I really enjoyed the first, I'd say the first four movies. And then it started to get a bit lost on me. But having said that, I really wanted this set. And uh, Jason, thank you so, so much. And Sophie as well, of course, uh, for sending me such an amazing gift. I really appreciate that. So, um, Jason Bresch is flirting with the 1K mark at the moment. Uh, I think he's on around 947 subscribers. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put Jason's link in the description below. And maybe, he's, if you don't mind going over, uh, checking out his channel, show him a bit of a sport, uh, support. And if you could do, throw him a sub as well. And let's help him get closer to that 1k mark so thanks again sophie and jason i really do appreciate that and uh yeah i hope to talk to you again very very soon right so up next i have got my parcel that i received from my good friend john clancy aka the movie collector i'm sure you are all very well aware of john's channel but yes he sent me out a 4k movie it's a movie that he really loves he obviously thinks i'm going to get something from it and uh what a gift to receive so i'm just going to quickly i have the parcel here in my hand so i'm just going to quickly take it out and um show you as quickly what it is so he has sent me uh maholland drive now i know nothing about this movie i haven't even seen a single trailer to it the only thing i know about this movie was i was on a stream there months and months ago and on that stream, everyone was talking about this one scene from this movie that was apparently very, very scary. And of course, me being as curious as I was, uh, because the minute I heard Mahalla Drive, I was like, really? Like, how, how, there's no way, that I would never put 
you know, like a scary scene uh, to this movie, so I have to check it out. Now, I, I seen the scene. Now, I have to admit, I, I don't get what everyone else has seen. Maybe it's because I knew it was coming. But uh, John Clancy told me that this that scene was just David Lynch being David Lynch, and uh, it would probably make a bit more sense to me once I've seen the movie in full. So I am very, very looking forward to seeing this, John. Uh, again, I'm hoping to get it, get it in the next couple of weeks and rest assured I will put a video together and uh, maybe a haul video and feature this in it and uh, he also turned around and he told me that this is a, a stunning looking 4k uh, picture as well so looking forward to checking that out John so thank you so much so as per usual like I said if you're not aware of John's channel which I seriously doubt you that there's not many of you out there but what I will do is I will leave a link in the description below and please do go over and check out his channel and throw him a sub if you could. Uh, I think you're going to be impressed with it by what you see. It's what we all strive to be like. Uh, something very something to similar to John's channel. Uh, it's so professionally done. He's a very genuine soul uh, and I have nothing but positive things to say about him. So thank you so much for that, John. Now, before I just go on to my last parcel... Uh, John did put a letter in this uh, parcel, or this gift, and uh, John over at Mondo Chelovic Movies, if you are watching, uh, I think you're really going to appreciate this. So here is the letter, uh, and as you can see, it's on some kitchen roll. Now, in case you are wondering, myself and John over at Mondo, uh, since our channel started, uh, we always put letters onto kitchen roll. Uh, it was just this kind of running gag that we had between the two of us. Now it looks like uh, John Clancy has joined the game as well, John. So thanks so much for that. Uh, that's incredible. Now I'm going to quickly just read out what he said uh, before I go on to the next one. So he says, uh, Greetings from sunny England, Keith. Uh, I hope you like Mahala Drive, uh, but if not, don't think you uh, don't think about asking for a refund. Don't worry, John, that is not going to happen. Uh, sorry it's not a box set or a special edition, but that's what happens when I trust Susie in doing the HMV shopping, John. Poor Susie. Poor Susie is getting the blame. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, well, Su Susie, I, I really do appreciate uh, you doing the shopping because I ended up getting this wonderful gift. So thank you so much, Susie. That is fantastic. But uh, in all fairness, no, John, uh, that this is... This is a great gift to receive. Um, I trust your opinion on everything that you... Every video that you put out, I always trust your opinion. And this is one now that I'm very, very looking forward to. So thank you so much, John, again. And thank you, Susie, for doing the HMV shopping. Right, so on to my last parcel we go. And uh, let me bring it in here. It's quite a sizable parcel we've got here. So here we go. So this is all the way from Australia. So uh, I'm going to quickly open it up now. I've already kind of undone the sellotape. And uh, let's have a look and see what's inside. Right, so the first thing I see here is just a simple little piece of paper. And it just says, enjoy Connor. And a smiley face. Uh, I'm sure I will, Connor. I'm sure I will. Right, so everything is very nicely bubble wrapped. So I have the first one here. Uh, this is a big box set i don't know what the hell this uh, oh my god oh my god check this out so he has sent me uh the eagles have landed now i have never seen this movie i am so unbelievably aware of it but i i have never seen it and i have definitely never seen packaging like this before check this out this is absolutely stunning uh, and I've... Wow, Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, I'm just a bit taken back here. Sorry. Um, right, so right at the back of it, there's actually two cuts to this movie. You've got an extended cut and you've also got a theatrical cut. So from what I can see, there must be... Going by the size of the box set, of course, there must be two... Two editions inside this box. Oh, and it's an imprint release as well. Oh, that is insane. I have never seen... Uh, box sets like this from imprint oh this is massive this is huge connor uh, this is a movie i desperately want to see i i really do and uh it, it's weird. i'm a bit conflicted now because i actually don't know which one to watch do i watch the theater good kosh do i watch the extended again leave comments down below and uh give me some help on this one uh you know maybe i should watch the theatrical and then go on to the extended cut and see but um sorry i'm just reading the back of it here right so the extended cut is an extra 16 minutes very intriguing. That is insane, Connor. That is beautiful. Uh, cannot wait to uh, rip into this and uh, get a close look at it. But what I will do, Connor, is I think I'm going to feature this again 
uh, in another video, maybe in an unboxing video, and uh, show everyone what's inside this. This looks, this looks amazing. Thank you so much for that, Connor. Right, so on to the next one we go. Oh my God, it's another big box set. It's another big box set. Oh my God, I think I, think I just got a glimpse of what this might be. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I... I, I seen pictures of this, wow, a while back, and um, I could never get it because it sold out. It actually sold out. It's actually, I think there's only, I, I, you know, I'll need to show it first. Check this out. He has sent me the Wicker Man, uh, and of course, it's the original movie, not that god awful Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, and as you can see, this is another imprint release. Look at this box set. Now, I have seen this before. I never realized that I came in a box set like this, an incredibly hardened box set. I am blown away because I am almost certain. I am almost certain these are very limited. I think there's only around 2,000 copies of this. And that's probably why I was never able to get it. Um, oh, Connor, I'm blown away. I am absolutely blown away. I cannot believe that you sent this to me. Uh, it's this is this is a this is a big deal. This is such a big. This is an addition. I want it. Uh, I've never owned the movie. Uh, well, I've only owned it on DVD. I never got it on Blu-ray. I don't even know if it's available on Blu-ray. And I'm just looking at the back of it here, and it does say there's the final cut is in it. You've also got the th theatrical cut and the director's cut. You've also got a special features disc, and you also get the original soundtrack. <sighs> it's a four-disc set. I never thought I'd actually own this. I really, I really, I'm, I'm blown away by. I'm, I'm, I really am. I can't believe that Connor has sent this to me. I, I don't even know how you got this because I'm almost certain it's out of print. I'm nearly sure it only had a limited run. Uh, I am such, and I've said this numerous times. I'm such a fan of imprint, uh, and thankfully we're able to get a lot of the singular releases over here on Amazon UK. But they can be expensive. But editions like these, uh, and the, the likes of. Uh, uh, the Eagles have landed as well. Editions like this, when you buy them directly from in-print, they can be very expensive. The postage can be very expensive. Uh, I've mentioned it before that they actually brought out a 4K edition of War of the Worlds, and I've been trying to get it desperately. But when you factor in um, postage and the price of the item, and of course customs charges, it was working out at nearly 140 euro, and it just wasn't worth it in the end. But now look at this. To actually get these two, look at that. I'm honestly blown away, Connor. Thank you so much for that, Connor. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm blown away by this. Uh, the generosity on this, commu this community, I, I've never witnessed anything like it. Um, I honestly never thought that going into YouTube and starting a YouTube channel that this would ever kind of happen, that people would send such an incredible gift. It's truly, it's truly just gobsmacking. So thanks again, Connor. I honestly don't know what else to say. And uh, I just want to put a uh, congratulations out to you and your wife as well on the birth of your baby boy. I think it was Henry. I hope I'm getting his name right there. But uh, yes, huge congratulations, Connor. And um, honestly, thank you so much for this. So what I'm going to do, Connor, is I will feature these again. Uh, I will unbox them properly and give everyone a close look at them and show exactly what's inside them. Uh, I honestly can't wait to open them myself. So there we go, folks. There we go. Three absolutely extraordinary gifts to receive by some incredible people i honestly can't praise them enough so there we go folks there we go so as per usual if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please share your thoughts on truly on these truly amazing gifts i i need to get off this camera <laughs> right so that is it folks so uh yeah until my next video i'll see you all again real soon take it easy bye bye